Hey, did you know that you can provide a service on a route? Yep, instead of using provided in route on the service or a components providers array, we can define a service for a route. In this video, we examine the syntax and discuss the scope and lifetime of a service when that service is provided on a route. Then we add child routes to see how to share that service. Let's take a look. I'm in StackBlitz with my demo application open. We're looking at the vehicle service. The service is currently provided in route. I've previously covered how this works in my video, providing a service in route versus component. Let's imagine that our team has decided to more clearly separate responsibilities in our code. Instead of providing our vehicle service in the route of the application, we'll provide it on the route that uses it. Our routes are defined in our app.routes.ts file. I'll reformat a bit so it's easier to see. Then add the providers property. The value is an array. The component associated with this route only needs one service, our vehicle service. How does a service defined on a route behave differently than one provided in route? First, the service can only be injected in the specified component in our case, vehicle selection component, or any component access through a child route of this route. We'll see an example of child route shortly. When the service is first injected into a component, a single shared instance of the service is created. That shared instance is only provided to a component that injects it if that component is associated with this route or a child route. The service state is shared between this component and any child route components. Once the shared instance is created, it exists for the lifetime of the application. Even if the user navigates to a different route and the component that injected it is destroyed, the service instance still lives. But wait, going back to the service, we now have the vehicle service provided both on the route and in route. This brings up an important point, only provide a service using one technique. Be sure your code does not provide the service in route and in a component and in a route. In most cases, a specific service should only be provided using one of these techniques. Otherwise, you may find difficult to debug data sharing issues. Since we want the service provided on the route, remove the provided in parameter from the injectable decorator. And let's check the vehicle selection component. Notice that it does not provide the service. I'll delete this commented out code to make that clear. Okay, now we only have our service provided in one place, the route. When the user navigates to this route, the component is initialized. As part of that initialization, the service instance is injected into this component. If that service instance does not yet exist, it's created and its state is initialized. Scrolling down, we use an effect to display when the signals are initialized and when their values change. In our UI, we see the welcome page. Open the browser console and clear it. Then click to reload the application. As we would expect, our messages don't appear because our service was not yet initialized. Click vehicle list from our menu the vehicle's route is activated, the vehicle's selection component is initialized, and our service is injected. We see our service state in the console. Our selected vehicle is currently undefined because we have not yet selected a vehicle. Let's select a land speeder. We see our selection in the console. Then return to the home route. Before we go back to the vehicle list again, do you think it will remember our selected vehicle? Let's see. Yep, it did. And we didn't see any new logging in the console. That's because one instance of the vehicle service is created the first time it's injected. That instance is retained and reshared anytime the user accesses the route. Cool. I'll close the console. But what about child routes? How do they work with our service? Let's give that a try. Let's say that our users want to see additional information about the vehicle. 
We'll display that information within this page using child routes. But we need new components to route to. I'll open a new terminal window, then use the CLI to create two new components, a vehicle detail component for vehicle details, and a vehicle films component for the list of films associated with a selected vehicle. Close the terminal and open Explorer. We see those new components here and here. Now let's add child routes for the two new components. Add the children property to the route definition. This property is an array of child paths. Define a detail path that loads the vehicle detail component and a films path that loads the vehicle films component. Now we need somewhere for these routed components to appear. Since these are child routes, the components appear within a router outlet in the parent routes component. In our case, that's the vehicle selection component. In the component, we import router outlet. And while we're here, let's import router link as well so we can link to these child routes. Then in the template, scrolling down, I'll paste the code down here at the bottom. If the user selected a vehicle, we display the two links, one to each child route, and we define the router outlet where the routed components appear. To try it out, select a vehicle. Okay, that doesn't look great. We could design these to be tabs, or at least buttons, but they're good enough to demonstrate child routing. Click on a link to see that component appear. I clicked on More Detail, and we see the It Works message. Click on Seen in These Films, and we see that component's template. Yay! Now let's inject the service into each child component. In the Vehicle Detail component, create a private variable, Vehicle Service. Then inject the vehicle service. Next, declare a signal that references the selected vehicle from the service and reference that signal in the template. Make the same changes to the vehicle films component and display the vehicle name in the template. That's good enough to see how our injected service works. Click the Home menu option to navigate to the home route. Then click to reload the application to clear any existing state. Navigate to the Vehicle Route, and we see our Vehicle Selection page. Select a vehicle, then select More Detail. Our Vehicle Selection component and Vehicle Detail component are sharing the same instance of the service, and therefore the same state. Nice! Click Seen in these films, and this component is also sharing the same instance. Select Home. Go back to Vehicle List and we see that the service instance was retained. Click either link, and they all share the same service state. Provide a service on a route anytime you want fine-grained control over which services are used and shared on specific routes. Use this handy table to help you decide where to provide each of your services. And don't forget that any one service should only be provided using one technique. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe.